I am in deep trouble because now I want to take every acting class ever. I just signed up for a class. I'm not gonna lie, I just signed up for a class. I just did a bunch of research on different acting techniques because I, I wanted to learn more about different acting techniques and just remember the ones that I got exposed to in college. So today I'm gonna tell you about five different acting techniques that I have been in a deep dive in. And you will see something very similar about all of these techniques, which is do it as realistically as possible. Find how you can portray it naturally and almost without thinking. And that of course comes with time. And I love different pieces of each of these techniques. So I'm gonna to touch on a little bit about each one. And this is only a little section. By no means is what I'm saying um, just a, a recap of what they teach. No, I'm just giving you a little piece of what I have learned and what I have, ex I have experienced. I'm not an acting coach, I'm not an acting expert, but I, <laughs> today I realized I absolutely love acting exercises and I'm gonna just tell you about some of them, some of the ones I was exposed to in college. So it all started with Stanislavski. Acting in the US, like modern times, and most of the world I feel like nowadays is very realistic and that's pretty new. So Konstantin Stanislavski, you maybe have heard of him if you've heard of acting techniques in general. Um, he was born in 1863, so a long time ago. He's the person that was like, hmm, maybe we should do acting a little bit more realistic. So he started to develop acting based off of emotions rather than, you know, those super crazy big movements that you used to see. So Stanislavski is credited to do that to the acting world, to be like, hmm, let's make it more realistic. So it was because of him that a bunch of other people um, got inspired to make acting exercises and techniques that would allow us to be able to better portray these characters more realistically. So he inspired everybody else that I'm going to talk about today. So uh, Konstantin Sonosowski and then uh, Uta Hagen, love Uta Hagen, Stella Adler, I mean all of these people are really good. Uh, the only one I don't know that much about, Lee Strasberg, but I know a little bit about him, and then um, Sanford Meisner, which is one that I've always gravitated to a lot, especially because I took a um, Fundamentals of Meisner with the Sanford Meisner Center in Burbank. So Stanislavski was more of like the art of experiencing an emotional connection to what you're saying and all of that and he inspired a bunch of other actors slash directors and theater practitioners who you know developed other acting techniques so uh the way that everybody got exposed to him was through a theater that he created the moscow art theater and that theater toured in europe and in the u.s in 1920s in the u.s it was 1923 and 24 and it is it, some people say like the system, the method, they call it a bunch of different things. Like I said, I'm no expert. I just wanted to share you a little bit about each thing. So um, Lee Strasberg, he was Polish American. One of his quotes was, and I'm going to read it to you, authentically ex re-experiencing the life implied by the given circumstances of the story, which is super similar to the Meisner one, which, oh my gosh, I hope my instructor, my Meisner instructor doesn't kill me if I get this wrong, but I will memorize it before I see you, Ranjeev. Um, the ability to live truthfully under the given imaginary circumstances is what Meisner always said. Um, so it's really, really similar, again, because Stanislavski was like, acting should be as realistic as possible. So that's why they sound really, really similar. With Lee Strasberg, as far as I've been able to gather, because I've never taken a course about Lee Strasberg and I just read a bunch on their uh, different websites for um, Lee Strasberg uh, studios and things like that. In that technique, it's very much about exploring your physicality, exploring yourself in that character and adding a bunch of little things over time in order to create that character, playing games in order to see what you naturally do. So Meisner, like I was saying, the quotes are really similar. What I've been able to experience through Meisner is really getting out of your head, a lot like improv where you just do things and you try to not care to, of looking stupid or hurting somebody's feelings or whatever. It's just getting out of your head and being truthful. And then now for Stella Adler, her father was an actor and um, she is Jewish American and uh, her father was known for the Yiddish theater and he, I mean, he was super influential in the US as far as like theater and really just the Jewish culture in New York. Again, a really cool documentary. I'm gonna link all the information I found in the description so you guys can continue 
learning more about this and the history of it is really interesting but there's a bunch of really cool things. I loved each documentary I saw. I think most of the documentaries I saw were made in the 80s. Stella Adler grew up acting. When she found out about the uh, Moscow Art Theater, Stanislavski's Theater, uh, she was like, whoa, this is, you know, this is different, like truthfully expressing yourself rather than imitating. One of the key things that I really like about Stella Adler is that she got away from the thought of um, remembering events that happened to you and bringing that into your character, into who you are trying to portray. And that's one of the things that um, Stanislavski first started with of, you know, bringing your own emotions into your character. But then later he was like, you know what? No, it's more about using your imagination to bring those emotions rather than like, you know, remembering the time like your, your first dog died or something like that because it's really painful and, and sometimes you get out of control. Like for me, my first acting class in high school, they were teaching us how to cry on command and, and they had us think about really sad things and I started bawling. I had to excuse myself from the class. I didn't even excuse myself. I just ran out of the class and I went into the bathroom. I was crying. People were asking me, are you okay? And I was like, yes, I'm just in an acting class and it was a hot mess. I much rather take on that character's, this this person's problems that I'm supposed to be um, representing than my own. Because if I think of theirs, then I'm only gonna be upset for a couple hours. If I think of mine, if I bring trauma, I can make myself cry really easy if I think about certain things that have happened in my life. I would continue to think about that for the rest of the week. So I, yes, Stella, yes. And then last, Uda Hagen, Uda Hagen. I love some of her exercises. Professor Mark Jacobs at Cal State East Bay. He had us do some of her exercises. And I love one of her exercises where you study yourself. You study two minutes of your life. You know, like you eating breakfast, you painting your toenails, anything. And then really seeing what were you doing? What were you looking at? What were you thinking, feeling? What are you gonna do after? What were you doing before? And being able to rehearse that those two minutes for an hour and then you come to class and you perform it in front of everybody and then you get to see what other people do in real life when nobody's watching you get to examine yourself and see everything you're doing oh, i love that exercise but that really shows you what you would do naturally and you're able to bring that into your performances that is so much fun i love people watching so this is basically people watching yourself so much fun if you know any more information about any of these, please leave your sources in the comments. I want to go learn more. I want to go read book recommendations, film recommendations, uh, documentaries, anything about these techniques or other ones, please let me know. I wanna keep doing research. Anyway, those are the five acting techniques that I am currently obsessed with. I've watched endless hours of YouTube in the last couple of days, I'm just learning more and more about that. I definitely did order a few books from Amazon. I will link the books and everything that I watched on YouTube if you guys want to learn more. But I am in deep trouble because now I want to take every acting class ever. I just signed up for a class. I'm not gonna lie. I just signed up for a class. Thank you so much for watching and at the end of every video I feature another channel and today it's going to be my friend Rosie at Rosie Hernandez and uh, she does a lot of family vlogs and teen tips things like that. Um, so go check her out and if you would like to be featured on my next video make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment